G'day ladies and gents, thanks for tuning in to another episode. In this video, we're gonna go out Morton Bay. I've brought the underwater drone along and we're gonna go and see if we can capture some really cool underwater footage within Morton Bay. So I'm gonna to go to areas that are pretty popular most people relate to, one being the Harrak, it's an artificial reef. So lots of man-made structures being put there, including the Tiwi Pearl boat that was sunk there many years ago for fishermen to enjoy. So we'll have a bit of a look around that. The clarity may not be the best in those areas. It is often prone to strong currents and it does murk up a little bit, but we'll have a bit of a look. I've, I've chosen the winter months, neat tides, which is generally the better clarity. So we'll have a bit of a look around. I may look at the houseboat that's west of Peel Island there. A lot of people would relate to that one. Have a look around that and then maybe go and look for some natural structures in the Rouse Channel. So um, usually the water's a little bit cleaner in the Rouse Channel, so we may see a little bit more there. Have a look around, go and check out lots of different things, and hopefully you guys enjoy some pretty cool underwater footage. I may have a fish just to break the bottom up as well, we'll wait and see, but today was all about capturing some cool underwater footage. Lots of people have been giving me feedback about my videos and loving the underwater footage side of it, so I thought make a day of it today, and hopefully capture some cool stuff. I hope you guys enjoy the episode. The Harriak, it's an artificial reef, is located in the middle of Moreton Bay and was originally made of tyres and trolleys back in the mid-70s and 80s. Since then, the government has added concrete pipes, rock boulders and a couple of wrecks to generate fish habitat for fishermen to enjoy. In 2010, the boat known as the Tiwi Pearl was sunk at Harry's and is now home to many species of fish and other marine life. This 24 metre steel vessel was originally an ex-tuna fishing boat from Alabama, United States and now sits on a sandy bottom in 20 metres of water. This sounder image from Tech Fishing shows the boat sitting perfectly in upright position on the southwest side of the Harry Ackerton artificial reef area. As I came down with the drone, I could see that the water clarity wasn't great, and unfortunately this is to be expected in Moreton Bay, particularly around Harry's, where there's a fair amount of tidal flow. After checking out the bow of the boat, I looked down and see a dark object sitting on the bottom, so I go in for a closer look. This turned out to be a Saka anchor that someone's lost, and I dare say this wreck has claimed many anchors in its time. Having used the drone around many wrecks before, I generally find majority of the better fish around the base of the wreck, so that's where I concentrated most of my time, and soon saw a variety of fish species. After spending a fair amount of time looking around the wreck and not seeing much more of interest, I went and checked out the various concrete pipes that have been placed around Harry's. With the water clarity getting worse, I checked out some foul ground close by and come across a skeleton which took me by surprise. 
Seeing some limb bones and a rib cage, I can only think that it's a dugon skeleton, but if you think otherwise, put it in the comments, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. The next stop is a houseboat wreck west of Peel Island. Very little is known about this wreck, and having seen what it looks like on the side scan sonar, I always questioned if it was actually a houseboat or just an old monohull vessel. This is a good chance to have a closer look with the drone and see exactly what it was. If you know any history on this wreck, then please let me know in the comments. As I came down on this wreck, I was greeted by a gold spotted cod that looked intrigued by the drone's presence. I could also see the boat's internal ribs, which matched the side scan sonar image as well. I soon noticed a large amount of anchors and ropes that were on this wreck, and I had to be careful I didn't get the drone caught up around any of the ropes that were floating in the current. After having a good look at this wreck, it appears to be an old mono hull vessel as I first thought, which would indicate that it's not a houseboat that it's commonly known as. The final stop of the day was to look at some natural structure in the Rouse Channel. It wasn't long before I had a Queensland groper follow the drone for a considerable distance and at times getting very close like it was about to attack it. In a previous video I had a groper eat the drone and spit it back out, so I was pretty nervous this might happen again. Mm -hmm. 